good morning fellow toastmasters how's the josh so welcome to the meeting number 176 the toastmaster samita bangalore we have crossed 175 yay say yay right so before we start the meeting as always we have a few rules which you follow in every toastmasters meeting first is please put your all noise making devices on silent and uh, please uh, keep yourself in mute unless you are supposed to talk and in toastmasters we don't talk about uh, taboo topics such as sex religion and politics so refrain from doing so if you still want to do so put it in a way that no one gets offended and a new rule right new rule so we are uh, on social media platforms right like youtube so this meeting is recorded and uh, please be mindful of what you speak that's all so today's topic is no i don't know uh, the poster was like some something about placements i don't know i have to first clear my backlogs before I, even i think about that so that's it toastmaster dinesh good morning everyone well i am dinesh kumar and i'll be the presiding officer for today's meeting and i'd like to declare the meeting number 176 team nope open now i have few announcements to make let us congratulate toastmaster pratap for completing level 3 and the second announcement is well after a long time we have only offline role takers it is something to be cherished about and i'd also like to request everyone to go ahead and fill the tmom form for this month since it's the ending of the month if you take take up any roles outside the club go ahead and fill the form to get counted for being as a toastmaster of the month well after this meeting we have a session called moments of truth it is the members coming forward and talking about the club it's an open discussion so everyone be here after the meeting and last but not the least from this term we are starting to have excom badges and toastmaster of the month badges so i'd like to request everyone to participate in tmom this is the announcement that i have and uh, we have few guests in the meeting well adarsh would you like to introduce yourself to us so good morning everyone yeah. uh, i'm adarsh from cscb so what else Nothing to do. Your hobbies. Yeah, I'm from Hyderabad. Yeah, hobbies like I watch movies. That's it. Uh, like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. Movie like there are so many. So that's. Thank you Adarsh. Now we have one more guest, Jagadish. Would you like to introduce yourself to us? Hello everyone. Good morning. Yeah, this is Jagadish. And I am from CSEA second year. And I love to I came here to explore my leadership skills and I want to improve my communication skills. So that's the reason I came for here. Yeah, fine. Happy to have you here, Jagdish. We have online audience as well. Uh, Shikhar, would you like to introduce yourself to us? Hey, um, thank you so much. Um, my name is Shikhar. Uh, I think first I just like to say it's it's very nice to see. uh an offline meeting i haven't been in one i started toastmasters in about 2020 feb and after that you guys all know what happened 
Um, I'm old, so very excited to see all of you youngsters um, in a college running a meeting. I have come across, uh, I think Harsha is part of uh, this college and multiple Durga has come and taken up roles uh, in our club. I come from the Morgan Stanley Bengaluru Orators Toastmasters Club. Uh, multiple of your folks, uh, I think Vinita uh, yeah, has come in, uh, into our meeting a couple of weeks back as a panelist. So it was very nice. Um, and now I just saw the link pop up on my WhatsApp. I said, uh, what better way to start Saturday? Thank you for having me. Uh, wonderful to see the energy that you guys have um, in, the spare, in the physical meeting. Really. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Dinesh. Thank you, Shikhar. I can see our PR is doing a good job. And happy to have you here. Now, we have our Rashmi ma'am as well. She's our faculty. Ma'am, would you like to introduce yourself to us? Um, yeah, am I visible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dinesh and uh, Praneet, uh, for um, having me on this um, Toastmasters Club meeting. And I certainly would look forward to um, seeing all of you in person. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really sure that all of you are doing a great job. And I can see that see, once you come voluntarily to these things, that in itself speaks volumes about it. So um, great job and uh, keep doing good work. Um, somebody just actually, you know, I was, I was uh, so motivated that when someone said, uh, my name is so-and-so and, -so and um, I have nothing more to say. So I really wanted to talk about, uh, so maybe you can talk about your height, weight, isn't it? Yeah, so I was so motivated that next when you ask me to do so, I will also say that, okay, my name is Rashmi Verma and uh, uh, yeah, my weight, I think all of you probably can, you know, reason with that and then uh, my height as well. So let, let's, let's maybe I'm not sure whether you have these topics. You can also uh, just do one topic on, uh, tell me something about yourself. Here my verbal uh, and the placement uh, streak comes in there. Right. All right. Thank you so much for making me a part of this and looking forward to hearing some great speakers here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank and you. Thanks for the suggestion. We'll surely ask sure, sure, in the next sure. guest introductions. Sure. I'm happy sure. to have you here, ma'am. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, Pranit. Thanks, Anish. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So that's it with the guest introductions. I would like to read out the club mission. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to build their communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater personal confidence and self-growth. Now with that, to talk about the theme, nope. This is the cliche word that everyone are saying to say no once in a while to know your value or something. At least that's what I heard from many people and in many movies. Let's see what our Toastmaster of the Day has in store for us. To introduce him, he's a tennis freak who is ever ready to speak. He's Toastmaster Hasha, our very own area director of F2. Toastmaster Hasha. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinesh. A very good morning, each and everyone present here. Morning. Thank you so much. Well, how many of you have heard no? From someone, you know? Happens. Move on, man. How many of you have said no to someone? Oh, quite a few people I see. Well, there are a few moments in my life as well where I said, no, where I received a no, and maybe these no's actually broke me sometimes, made me happy sometimes, made me empowered sometimes. I just want to talk about these no's today. Well, maybe the grammarian is already correcting, saying there is no word called no's in Toastmasters or in English. So, grammarian, it's just that I'm using a word. Please don't make a note of it. Well, enough coming to our theme today. No, as you already said, there are a few moments in our life where we look back and think we could have done something different, right? So that's what happened with me almost, um, let's say in fifth class, my mom asked me, Harsha, do you want to go to school? 
I said no. Then later I went on to different stages of my life and I kept on saying no a lot of times. But later I realized that there is no other option but I have to go to school. And the second incident which gave me a no was in my 12th standard. I went to a girl and said, why are you laughing? I just asked, can you give me your classwork? And she said, no, you need to get your act straight. Please don't laugh. <laughs> well, there are a lot of incidents like these where we get a no as well. Coming to Toastmasters, almost hundred years ago, a person went onto the stage to give a toast to one of his best friends. And he blacked out on the stage. And he told to himself, no, I'm not giving up. That person was Ralph C. Smedley, who established Toastmasters on 22nd of October in 1924. As of now, you can see how huge Toastmasters is. It's around one, in 143 countries with 16,800 plus clubs with 2 lakh plus members. A big round of applause, please. Now, coming to a Toastmasters meeting, there is this one person who will always correct us. We think that we did everything right. But this person comes and says, no, this is not the exact way to do it. You can do better. That is the general evaluator. Now, introducing our general evaluator, he is someone who I'm, whom I don't understand. I think not just me, everyone in this room or everyone on this planet won't understand him. That is Toastmaster Vinay. But the amount of enthusiasm that he has when he comes onto the stage, I feel that the stage will break down someday. On to the stage, Toastmaster Vinay, the general evaluator. <laughs> no, you can understand me. So if you ask me to say about the theme, no, I'll say no. No, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm pretty much sure that Toastmaster Halsa will let us know about no. So I'll be your general evaluator for today's meeting. And my role is to tell your mistakes, which you does in every part of the meeting. And I'll be evaluating the whole meeting. Also for my evaluation, I need three people called the tag team, the timer, our counter and the grammarian. So let me introduce them. Coming to the timer, Toastmaster Ram will be our timer for today's meeting. He said, a lovely person who has good sense of humor and a little sarcasm. He always been on his phone. If you say don't, he'll say, no, I won't. So over to you, timer, Ram. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay, for this wonderful intro. Yeah, no, that's something I hear 100 times a day and heard from many of girls. <laughs> so yeah, timer. What does a timer do generally? Time people. We know the importance of time. So let's not just waste time on the niche topic. And let me just get started. On what does a timer do in Toastmaster? So basically, all of us give speeches. But we have to be more efficient in giving speeches, right? And be within the time limit. So that's why there's a timer in Toastmasters to make sure you do it on time. So yeah, so there are three different types of timing for uh, table topics, prepared speeches, and evaluations. For uh, prepared speeches, it's uh, five to seven minutes. Five minutes, I'll show the green card. At six minutes, I'll show the yellow card. And at seven minutes, I'll show the red card. And for uh, table topics, at one minute, I'll show the green card. At two minutes, I'll show the, uh, say one minute, 30 seconds, I'll show the yellow card and uh, red card at two minutes. And for the evaluations, at two minutes, I'll raise the green card and two minutes, 30 seconds, I'll show the yellow card and at three minutes, I'll show the red card. So that's all. What do you toast, Master? So coming to our counter, Toastmaster Shambhi will, or will be our counter for today's meeting. She is an enthusiastic tab member. And she likes expo exploring new things every day. And also she's an animal lover. Or to somebody. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay. The purpose of the R counter is to take note and track the words, uh, fillers, pauses, and repeated words used by anyone who's speaking here that can be used as a 
crutches or filler pauses. Words might include inappropriate interjections such as and, well, so, but, and sounds might include um, ah, uh, er. I personally am not very fond of the role of our counter. It seems like the our police, but I do place value in the importance of delivering your ideas across precisely and concisely without a lot of distractions. And that's what I'll be helping you do today. Thank you. Coming to our grammarian, Toastmaster Grovin will be our grammarian for today's meeting. He is one of my dearest friends with a very wonderful hairstyle. <laughs> Does a lot of courses. If you start him asking him to explain about them, he'll say, no, I won't. <laughs> Out <laughs> going. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vinay, for that lovely intro. A very good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. So today I'll be the grammarian for today's meeting. As a grammarian, my job is to uh, pay attention to the speakers and note down their good uses like quotes, phrases, words, etc. And also not so good uses. And, and also to give to today's word of the day and idiom of the day. So word of the day is carpe diem, which means seize the day. For example, for those who practice carpe diem, they, they like... Uh, they, they'll do whatever they want to do on that day and never let anyone decide what they want to do. And the idiom of the day goes, uh, says on cloud nine, which means be happy. Uh, for example, I'll be on cloud nine when someone says I'm cute. So those are word of the day and idiom of the day. I suggest everyone to include those in your speeches. And I request everyone to raise your thumbs up when someone uses word of the day and idiom of the day. Thank you. Back to Toastmaster Vinay. Thank you, Toastmaster Govin. Also, that's with my tag team. I'll be on cloud nine whenever my tag team gives a good report. So I'll come with my evaluation during the evaluation session when I when call upon by TMOD Harsha. So over to you, TMOD Harsha. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vinay and the Taki for the wonderful split up of your roles. Now, let's move ahead to so-called the Toastmasters meeting agenda. Okay. In every Toastmasters meeting, there are three sections. Firstly, the prepared speeches. Second, table topics. And third, the most important one, the evaluation session. So coming to the first um, section of the meeting called prepared speeches, this is the section where the speakers come and say, no, I want to beat my stage fear. If you ask them, do you want to black out on the stage? They would say yes, but they would definitely say a no to the stage fear that they have. That's what prepared speeches is all about. So firstly, we have our first speaker for today and that is Toastmaster Pranit. Onto the stage, please. Now if Toastmaster Pranit is someone whom I believe that he was my senior, 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 but he ended up being my junior, which beaten, I mean, which has taken me to a shock, but he's a pretty good junior, as you can see. Now, before Toastmaster Prani starts his speech, I would like to request the speech evaluator Toastmaster Vinatna to come out to the stage and give out his speech objectives. Hello, fellow tapsters and guests. This is Vinutna with the complete honors of being a speech evaluator for our very own speaker, Toastmaster Pranit. So coming to Toastmaster Pranit, he's giving his L2P1 in the path of uh, strategic relationships. And the purpose of the project is for the member to identify his or her primary leadership styles. And also the speech is for the member to say some aspect of his or her primary leadership style or discuss leadership styles in general. Looking forward for a very great speech, Pranit. All the best to you and over to you, Harsha. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Virudna, for laying out the speech objectives. And now, Toastmaster Pranit, Missile Man of India. Missile Man of India, Toastmaster Pranit. A leader is not someone who just leads you to achieve a task. A leader is someone who leads you to achieve far more greater deeds. This is what APJ Abdul Kalam said, and that's what I believe. 
still after many years i still remember the day apj abdul kalam died basically when we are in when we are school kids if we get a holiday we'll be very excited but that day we i didn't watch the news and i didn't know that apj abdul kalam was was no more so i was uh, with my dad went on the bike to board the bus and a message came to my dad that the apj abdul kalam died and we are declaring a holiday first time as a kid who is in 6th or 7th class i was not excited that it was a holiday i was really sad for the first time and the only time that the holiday was being declared because he was such a huge inspiration to everyone and still i get goosebumps when i say about apj apj abdul kalam today good morning fellow toastmasters i'm pranit today i'm going to talk about leadership skills which were bestowed by apj abdul kalam it was 1979 india was researching for 10 years to launch a pro- project slv's uh, space satellite and it was it was a high pressure environment for both the prime minister as well as the isro with the newly formed isro in 1979 august 20th the isro was ready to launch the mission and apj abdul kalam was the director of that mission now t minus 5 minutes everything was fine t minus 4 minutes the computer stops and says that there is a leakage in the control valve and the mission can't be done the whole room was so quiet the six experts took up took, uh, took their actions uh, seen their computers and after one minute before even one minute was over they came up with the solution that yes there is a mistake but the oxidizer fuel tank is uh, was enough to take the flight into the orbit but it was apj abdul kalam's task to say yes or no but apj abdul kalam believed his experts and took to manual override and launched the aircraft it went to the first it was a four stage aircraft basically the first stage went successfully everyone was happy second stage after one second boom instead of going the aircraft going into the orbit it was down in bay of bengal now the young apj abdul kalam who was the director of this mission the first mission india had ever did was scared that he put 20 crores down the drain of bay of bengal now imagine 20 crores in indira gandhi's time in 1979 was a huge 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 deal then the director of isro professor satish dhawan came to the came to apj abdul kalam and said let's go and have a press meet and he said when we was when he was entering the stage he said that i'll handle the press meeting and he he explained his uh, condolences to all the people who have expected that it would be a success and said that these men have worked very hard and i'm and i'm sure that the next time it would succeed it was 1970 same july 18th people were excited and this time it was into the orbit success and apj abdul kalam was so excited and then also satish dhawan came to the meeting hall and said congratulations man you did it now you go and give the success uh, conference press conference and rest is history right apj abdul kalam became became the missile man of india after that he became people's president as you all know now would this would this be possible without satish dhawan interference in the failure now that's what a leader should be he should take the responsibility of failure upon himself and give the success to its colleagues this this story was repeated by apj abdul kalam many times i was a fan of apj abdul kalam since i was a kid so every time i used to hear the same speech i was quite bored but when i grew up when i came to my teens i just realized how much impact that satish dhawan had humility is one of the most in, in, in spot, important aspect in leadership building skills right and according to a research after empowerment humility is one of the most important area to make to make good leaders apj abdul kalam was not 
just a man. He was a teacher. He was a scientist. He was an educator. He was, he was the president of India, right? But overall, after all these things, he wanted to be remembered as an educationalist. He believed that because that is, that is another role of what leadership plays. Leadership is just about giving your knowledge to others and expecting those. Now, I'm wearing two badges right here. Let's go. I told about ABJ Abdul Kalam. That was great. But now I'm going to tell a small story before I conclude, uh, come into the conclusion because I have these badges here. This is my Toastmasters badge. Just leave it right there. This is, if you can see, this is called Bipolar Awareness Batch. Or you may say, what is this mental guy giving bipolar awareness right now? But did you know that one of the most successful leaders in the world, Winston Churchill, was bipolar? People assume getting these diseases is like a death sentence. But what I wanted to say is, even people like APJ Abdul Kalam or Winston Churchill, who had secret mental illnesses, still succeeded. So my goal right here is to make everyone aware that it's not a death sentence and earlier treatment will lead to an earlier cure. That's all I have. Leadership is all about treating others well. That's what ABJ Abdul Kalam taught me. And when I become a leader, hope so, when I become a leader, I will try to embark these qualities which APJ Abdul Kalam gave me. And that's it. Uh, I just pray to God that APJ Abdul Kalam is there and we get another APJ Abdul Kalam. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Praneet. That was indeed an inspiring speech. Well, uh, it's just not that it's not about the whole speech, but when I was hearing the whole story, I went back to my sixth standard where I heard the story for the first time. So a big round of applause for Toastmaster Praneet, please. Now coming to the second speaker for today and the evaluator, this is a duo. Uh, I was sleeping in my room one day and all of a sudden two guys come to my room and the whole room starts shouting and they start talking. I got up from my sleep. I saw that there are two juniors who were sitting in a room. Who are these people? These are these two people. That is Toastmaster Aditya and Toastmaster Rahul. Toastmaster Rahul, the speaker, onto the stage, please. Before Toastmaster Rahul starts his speech, I would like to invite a speech evaluator, Toastmaster Aditya, onto the stage, please. Uh, good morning, fellow Toastmasters. I'm Toastmaster Aditya. Uh, this is my second time uh, getting onto the stage. And here I am giving my uh, evaluation to my target speaker, Toastmaster Rahul, and my classmate. So the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce themselves to the club and, the learn, and, and to learn the basic structure of the public speaking. So I wish all the best uh, to my friend Rahul with his first speech and hope he'll get on cloud nine if he has a good evaluation. Thank you. Thank you so much Toastmaster Aditya and Toastmaster Rahul. Introvert me, introvert me, Toastmaster Rahul. A very good morning to everyone, all the Toastmasters and the audience. Okay, let's start. There was one confusing incident which has happened in my nine years. When I was nine years, like, I don't know what happened. I left my parents or parents left me, which is in a big supermarket of 15,000 people. And I was confused where to go. And then there in my nine years age, my father bought me a remote control helicopter, which I don't know how to operate. And then when I went to the market there, I saw one guy who is playing with that helicopter, which is like unbelievable for me that I could not control how it is. He is like a master in it. He is moving up, down, whatever he wants, wherever he is roaming around the market. And then 
I stayed with him and I left my hand, which is holding with my father. And then he too left me. He went to a watch shop beside it, not beside, maybe the next uh, street, like in the market. And then they were buying watch to my brother. And then next searching for me, where I am not there. And they were thinking to buy for a Rahul, but where me? And then I was asking that who is playing with that helicopter, asking, Baya. As I don't know Hindi when I was nine years old. And he took me to the police control room and he was also speaking Hindi. I don't know anything. I was like, I heard three words. Mata Pita Gao. I was like, oh, oh, my father name, mother name. And then I said, and there was said in an announcement and my parents are busy in buying the watch, right? And they were not even listening. And I was like silently sitting as I don't know anything. And then one of my other family member heard and they came took me. And then I felt, then later I realized after incident, I thought, I was an introvert. Like I am shy to run. I am shy to ask anyone. This is me, introvert me. I was born on March third, two thousand three, and when I born, my bro on blissful hat. I'm like on cloud nine, and he gave sweets to everyone in the street and the family member that I got a bro and I can play with him from now. But whereas I'm below one year and I was only sleeping, eating, and he got anger. He used to make me torture that he used to bite my fingers and toes. And then he ran away. My mom and all like, what happened? And he also ran with them like, oh, what happened? Why is bro crying? I don't know what is happening there. Like that some incident happened, which is funny. And then uh, later on when I become big and one of my hobbies is like being silent. As I said, introvert. My hobby is itself being silent. And then sometimes I used to play outdoor games. And one of my special interest is, I listen others what I talk, but then I don't say what I mean. Like I don't judge. And then as I am silent, I don't judge anyone and all. I have a group of three people. Our batch name is Bar. Actually, we are not alcoholic. B is Banu, A is Arun, R is Rahul. We are not an alcoholics. It's mine. And then all of the three are introverts and I got them in the school and while walking in the last month, we were on holidays and then we were walking and one guy is shouting. You we are like, bro, don't shout. We are introverts. If, again, if they listen or like, smile on smile on us, we can't take that. And one guy is like attitude, like, what bro, what happens? I was like, bro, I am introvert. He's saying himself, one of my friends. So I felt like. Oh my God, this is not, I should be something like public speaking and all. And then when I got to the Amrita, then I heard a team as, as, as a club, like Toastmaster, which is like improving of the public speaking or anything you can learn yourself. And there are some evaluators. I felt like, oh, nice. Still, when I was small, I feel stage is like something I, f I make hundred feet distance. Like, no, 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 I don't even attend. I will be like, hey, what they will say? I don't want to listen anything, whatever they say. I will, if I will say it, when I was small, if I sit down, I will be like playing with sand. If I will be on bench, I used to play pen fights or with the friends and all. Nothing I used to do. And then later, after seeing this Toastmaster, and then I came to the last meeting, then I got to know, oh, it's nice. So I joined. And then here is the place. I want to remove my introvert in me. So I kept my introduction as also as introvert me. Yes, I'm concluding with this. Thank you. Thank you so much Toastmaster Rahul. Icebreaker is always special and a big round of applause once again for Toastmaster Rahul. Please. You used to maintain 100 feet distance. I used to run away from the stage, 1000 feet distance minimum. And after joining Toastmasters, stage has been like a home for me and I hope it happens for you as well. Thank you so much. Well, now coming to the third speaker for today. I don't know. I don't exactly know how to introduce her. After every speech, she says Namaste. And one day um, I was just coming to a Toastmasters meeting in e-learning hall. I got a call all of a sudden. I went out and took the call. And the person in the call asked me, do you sell lawn grass? I thought, what? For a moment, I was shocked. Then I told him I'm a student and everything. 
then they said that there was a transaction between their number and mine of 4500 of you months ago then i saw the transaction it said kogatam oh i see then i understood that it was vijay sri that's something which happened with her mother once so on to the stage toast master vijay sri now before she starts her speech i would like to invite the speech evaluator toast master dinesh whom i think is the synonym of trust for me on to the stage toast master dinesh thanks for the introduction toast master harsha well good morning once again everyone and a special good morning to my target speaker toast master vijay shri who is attempting her l2 p1 in the path dynamic leadership the purpose of this project is for the member to identify her primary leadership style the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspect of her primary leadership style or discuss leadership style in general <clears throat> and her personal goal that she is expecting out of this speech is to give effective pauses hoping you will achieve all your goals through this speech toastmaster vijayashree all the very best over to you toastmaster asha thank you so much toastmaster dinesh and toastmaster vijayashree recognize recognize toastmaster vijayashree namaste <laughs> namaste good morning to fellow toastmasters and my dear guests this is vijayashree kogatam i am not feeling the sun from few days onwards because of glooming clouds indeed all of you making me feel the sun with your sparkling teeth and shining faces apart from this i have a question for you all what is leadership in your own point of view anyone what is leadership like what strikes your mind like when you hear the word leadership taking responsibility a uh, pardon sorry taking responsibility oh yeah thank you any other okay thank you for the response i was in two minds when i tried to know about a leader and leadership but my mind blew up with the questions like is principal of the university a leader is class representative a leader is a ceo a leader or all politicians leader my answer was no all can be leaders with just positions money and power whenever the words like leader leadership comes to the mind generally we say that they are the ones who shows us the way they are the ones who knows the way and they are the ones like who travels in that way but in my point of view a true leader a true leadership establishes when a person tries to create leaders understanding yourselves and your own approach is what matters everyone is a leader but recognizing yourselves is what differentiates between a leader and a follower and that is the moment where leadership starts and there are eight kind of leaderships transactional leadership transactional leadership is just to think in a typical transactional way where i gave you this and you do this in return transformational leadership transformational leaders seek you to change in which they lead to inspire their employees to innovate servant leadership servant leaders operate on standard motto serve first lead second democratic leadership democratic leadership is kind of style referred to a participative leadership where the leaders in this category runs the projects and the groups in a democratic way autocratic leadership autocratic leadership is just exist on the opposite side of the democratic leadership bureaucratic leadership bureaucratic leadership is goes by the books where set of the rules and systems has already been defined just the leaders in this category needs to follow the road map which has been laid out laissez faire leadership in this leadership leaders provide the sources and then tools for the members and steps back and pushes the members to accomplish the work charismatic leadership charismatic leaders have magnetic personalities and as well as a conviction 
a lot of convention to achieve their objectives. I want to share one of the instances from my school life. When I contested for school people leader in my school, one of my contenders was trying to influence the students by doing fake promises and distributing chocolates. And I observed that the students are getting impressed with that. And I inquired with the staff that is this kind of campaigning is allowed or not. I got to know that it's not at all allowed. And I started campaigning by publicizing the way how she's trying to mislead the students. And I requested the management to tell in front of the students that to not to do that kind of activities. And that is the moment where whole elections favored me. And I won with a huge majority in the history of the school and I was on the cloud nine, really. And this is how I, how I try to lead. And sincerity, honesty are the two things which drives me to face hurdles and manage to lead. I strongly believe that leadership qualities and styles are the things will make to bubble the surface. Charismatic leadership is this kind of leadership which I own. And you, 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 everyone sitting here in this room and who is attending through the meeting, everyone is a leader. Everyone. The thing is to, you need to recognize yourself and find out what kind of leadership you own. And thank you everyone for your valuable time. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vijayasri. And I can see that there's a leader in the making. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech. It was very inspiring. Now, the prepared speeches section has come to an end. Now we have to move to the next section. But we do have a theme, right? No. In my 12th grade, on one very fine day, I went to the canteen in my junior college. I was having a wedge puff. Had my wedge puff, was very happy. The whole day was fine. We played, played cricket in the evening. It was almost five in the evening and I had to rush back to my home. I rushed back to my home after dropping my friend. It was a bit late than each and every day. Every day I was to be home by 4, 4.30. That day I went home by 5.36. When I went home, my mom was just lying down on the floor. I was shocked. I had no clue of what was happening. I just entered the hall and there was just confusion all around me and there was just a lot of silence. It was a 16 year old who was just looking at his mom laid on the ground like that. I just went to her and I asked what happened. She was so drowsy and she fell down and she had show low sugar levels and at that point in time I had to rush her to the hospital. My brother was out of station. My dad was out of station. Being a 16 year old, I had no clue. I rushed her to the hospital, somehow booked the cab and took her to the hospital. I called up my uncle who was staying like 15 or kilometers or 10 to 15 kilometers away. I called him up and asked, can you come over? Mom, mom is not feeling well. He said, no. And it will take at least six to seven hours because she's having meetings. That no broke me. Sometimes a no can make a lot of difference. And sometimes a no can traumatize a small kid for the rest of his life. There are a few incidents in our life where we shouldn't say no. And that one situation is during a table topic. Trust me, when you're on the stage for a table topic, say no to that stage fear. Come on to the stage and take that topic. Take that leap of faith in yourself. Go ahead and attempt that one table topic. Because the topics are going to be pretty easy. And I can see that table topics master is looking right at me. Now, introducing our table topics master. She is someone who I think is very enthusiastic and enthusiastic in Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. Because when the first offline meeting happened after almost two years, she wasn't able to attend the meeting and she felt very bad about it. That day I realized how enthusiastic she was about Toastmasters in general. On to the stage, Toastmaster Madhavita, the table topics master for today. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Harsha. 
saying no no it's very difficult when we say no to someone else maybe saying no to to our crush <laughs> saying no is an art we have to master it and here i am to help you out with that good morning my fellow toast masters and my dear guest i'll be the table topic master of the day i'll be helping out with your impromptu speaking i'll be giving you few topics that is h11 and you have to speak it for about 1 to 2 minutes don't worry it will be easy now don't say no to the, the questions uh timer please note that the uh, time is 1 to 2 minutes the session is not only restricted to the members but it is open to the guest i would encourage everyone to use the word of the day and idiom of the day so that the grammarian will be on cloud nine saying no to our snacks when our aunt gives is also difficult okay now who will be my first volunteer don't say no my first volunteer anyone from online okay here we have pratap toast master pratap okay my question to you is what is the weirdest career idea you had as a kid and had to say no career idea and you had to say no to that my career ideas change i mean they depend on the movies which i watch <laughs> so as a child i used to watch a lot of movies i was in the hostel and every weekend they play movies and all so once i watched vikram arkadu and i want to become a gunda <laughs> and then a few years later i watched tupaki and i wanted to become a military man i wanted to join the army and there are a lot of instances like i watched maharshi movie even now even now that's the same i watched maharshi movie and i wanted to become some ceo of a big company <laughs> so it happens but the weirdest which i had is i watched this movie series the mechanic yes the movie's name is mechanic but in the movie he's actually hitman is actually hitman so i thought maybe i can become a hitman with this belly but not with this belly i know so both those movies are very good i wanted i really wanted to become a hitman and then i started thinking about what would hitman's parents say when he wanted to become hitman <laughs> i mean that i want to become hitman what is hitman i shoot people in you know? <laughs> what so that's one of the weirdest career idea which i had to say no for or maybe in future if i get a chance i might become a hitman definitely what do you toast master padmita i think the society is missing a very wonderful hitman <laughs> okay who will be my next volunteer okay we have toast master pranit okay my question to you is when in your life did you say no even though you really wanted to say yes should i repeat for you again yeah. yeah when in your life did you say no even though you really wanted to say yes there are a lot of incidents where i wanted to say yes but due to so many people watching i had to say no is that something you guys relate to 
एनीवन सो दैट्स द इश्यू राइट फ्यू एग्जांपल्स वेर आई सेड नो वाज इवन जॉइनिंग अ क्लब फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग माय ब्रेन राइट नाउ व्हेन आई केम टू कॉलेज दे वर द फर्स्ट ईयर ओनली आई आई सॉ आई सॉ द क्लब्स वर देयर बट I said no to the clubs, even though I wanted to say yes, because I thought, what would others think, or what would others, what would I do if uh, I do something embarrassing? But some incidents happened afterwards, and I just gave up on everything, and uh, I, I I was like, uh, I don't care about anyone. In my life, my wish. That was my uh, this thing, and. when i said no but i wanted to say yes uh, it could be in my 7th grade i my dad like bought uh, like want, wanted to buy like a very expensive toy or something it's so, like a aeroplane toy it was like 20000 or something and uh, he is is my dad is the best man you don't know okay before buying he'll say you could buy 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 but after buying he'll, he'll every day he'll say ah you you bought uh, why did you buy me uh, like he's scold and uh, not even that uh, it was a drone basically not a toy it was a drone those days drones were very cool 7th and 8th class drones are very cool i wanted to say yes but it was very expensive and my dad would scold afterwards so i had to say no so i hope you never say no when you wanted to say yes because you just have one life stop caring about what other people think thank you thank you so much pranit yeah who will be my next volunteer anyone Hi. from online yeah shrikar Yeah. Okay. My question to you is. Uh, one second, Toastmaster Madhu Bita. Let yeah. me actually flip the view so that I can see the timer. Uh, before you give me, yeah, uh, I'm all good. Go ahead. I can see the timer now. That's okay. 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 Fine. Fine. Yeah. Okay. My question to you is, what is something you have always wanted to try, but have been too afraid of to do that? i'll repeat it what is something you have always wanted to try but have been too afraid to do that i'll just take few seconds to think about the topic and um we'll let you know when i start yeah so thank you for the topic um toastmaster madhumita what is something that i always wanted to try uh, but have been too afraid to do that i think i have always wanted to try and take more risks i think i have all i have characterized myself as a risk averse person being a family man with two little kids i think that definitely goes on with my personality and i don't really regret uh, being risk averse but yes i do see other people taking risks at times maybe j- j- doing bungee jumping or jumping out of the sky out of a plane uh, just by themselves but yes i have probably said no to those opportunities and not seize the day or cap caper deem as the grammarian put it those are the things that i think um i have regretted not uh, pulling up the not regretted really but things that i would have liked to do but i have not done yet a couple of other things yes uh, maybe career changes i would have also liked to be maybe not a hitman but maybe a clown at some point in time i would have always dreamt of you know being a steam engine driver when steam engines were big i am that old so those are yes definitely some of the things that still come to mind which uh, i have not been able to go ahead with overall um, do i regret those i don't think i do those are still like fantasies fantasies and some things that you really want to have something in life that is k- kind of out of your reach and keeps you motivated through life 
but um but overall i'm pretty happy with where i am uh, thank you so much for the topic toastmaster madhuvita back over to you thank you so much shrika okay for this question i need two volunteers okay one more yeah we have toastmaster vinay and toastmaster harsha okay so one of you will be dad and the other is his son convince your dad who says no to your nandi hill trip with your friends dad son dad son daddy you know one thing that my friends thought of going to a nandi hill trip so i'm thinking that i would go to go with along with them so i need just 8000 rupees to book a van you want 8000 rupees to go to nandi hills <laughs> nandi hills 8000 i'll go to kur come back go back to chikmagalur and still have 7000 rupees in my pocket why do you want 8000 rupees that but you spend so less uh, i spend some i have some kind of expenditure to spend what is the expenditure that you have are girls coming to the trip ah huh? ah huh? only you are also going with your friends who who friends tell me that first you, you see there one one guy with good hairstyle he'll do this that one friend and one friend who will do this that one friend and one friend who will do this that one friend and some other friends who are the other friends uh Uh, some important friends define important friends uh friends which i cannot share with you cannot tell you then how are they important <laughs> that just i wanted to go with them why don't you allow me did you allow me to be in peace <laughs> no you didn't you never did how can you how can i allow you to go on a trip that to do nandi hills while you're asking me 8000 to go to nandi hills okay fine give me 7500 500 discount ah chennai shopping mall or what ash adam sale 50% of 500 rupees off not happening you're not going to the trip no matter what you you, you can't convince me man i'll go ask mom she'll convince you mom will convince me Are you sure? Hundred percent. Then go to your mom and come back. But she is not in hometown. That's why you should take permission from me. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Uh, just allow me. I'll go and come. Uh, how much will you, are you willing to give? One point five rupees. <laughs> That's not fair. That's your fair. Okay, I'll borrow it from my friends. You have this eight there. You can go to him. Back to the table topics, master. Very nice kids. Uh, kids these days don't ask for permission to go to Nandi Hills. They just say Thank that you. you're going to Nandi Hills. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Harsh and Toastmaster Vinay. I think some of you have uh, known how to convince your dad. Okay. my next volunteer yeah jyoti sharma my question to you is what is the best piece of advice that you can give your younger self <clears throat> well um i am very good at giving advices so i would like to say that so there are a lot of advices that i want to give to my younger self but the one best piece of advice that i want to give them is just don't set back in your life be consistent always fight for what you want it's not like people uh, here and are are not giving you anything just don't say that i am not getting this that's why i'm not doing this just fight for what you want first of all just make clear that uh, what do you want in your life 
and it, it just should, this is very typical question that uh, when we we have to uh, write down what we want in our life it's just it's it should not be like five years or ten years that is a later step first is initially for example i want to be a good communicator so the advice is you should not uh, if you want to go to toastmaster i know my some of my friends they are a little bit nervous when they see like oh no there will be a lot of people and i can't speak in front of them so that's why they just hesitated and did not come up so you have to just go into the water to know the depth of the water whatever it will happen uh, just don't take it to your heart and uh, uh, sometimes we feel like uh, bullying or that things so that is just momentary thing so you should not take everything personal uh, things are happen and that go, uh, that is and things will go going to happen just don't take anything to personal don't think see that if someone is saying something it is to you only just let it be just uh, perform in the present moment that's it thank you thank you very much jyoti okay rashmi ma'am would you like to volunteer uh i am so sorry i i missed is it the advice that you part that you are asking me or um, uh, no ma'am i'll give you a topic you have to talk okay. for about one to two minutes yes ma'am sure go ahead yeah my question to you is can you think of a time when impossible became possible for you <laughs> very recently i think uh, you all know that we were uh, going to uh, to the, uh, the airport to drop a cousin of mine and um, uh it was it was raining cats and dogs and um uh, uh, there was this this red fm um, uh, being played in the car and tohin if you know if you have ever heard him so um, he was uh, he just announced a contest there saying that uh, there was this match coming up the next day or the or the weekend and then he announced that uh, if you uh, answer this particular question um there is a ticket free ticket to that match and uh, my my son was looking at uh, he was actually looking forward to that match so i was like uh, i and i knew the answer i think it was about the coach yeah so uh, south african coach so uh, i immediately i had that number saved in my phone so i dialed and uh, i or i actually whatsapp that same answer and i dialed red fm and i gave them the right answer and uh, they have this process of uh, you know they, they will end the call and then then tohin will call back that was what you hear when actually the the whole thing is played so my son was sitting in the back seat and he said uh, are you sure mom that um, you know what if uh, your answer is wrong or there are so many people uh, who are uh, uh, you know who might be listening to red fm and might be answering so are you sure you will get through so i said no harm in um, you know contesting there are many but uh, that doesn't stop my chance of winning so i did and then next two minutes tohin called back and says that yes you are the winner for the contest and you were the first one to give the correct answer so i think um, that that way when, when there was no chance of uh, you know winning or uh, something which is not possible uh just by taking an initiative uh it it turned out to be possible thank you mom thank you yes any guests newbies here anybody I, who want to I'm volunteer kaushik yeah yeah okay okay my question to you is will you still procrastinate even if you have exam the next day and binge watch a netflix series overnight thank you malita for that wonderful yeah. question uh, so yeah we, this is very uh, this is very practical the thing like which happen to me many times especially during the lockdown and <clears throat> It, it was a end semester the next day, and there was a there's my favorite uh, series. Uh, it's the second season is just the day before the my end semester got started. Like it was released, I was very interested to watch, and as well as that, there is some some more uh, theory to read for the exam. Uh, I procrastinated the exam part, and I watched binge watch like 
almost like nine hours. <laughs> and later, I, 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 I know, like, I, I listen to classes, like, I basically what I do for exams is I listen to classes and directly I go to go and I, I, I only just refer the page, books just before one or two hours before the exam. That's what I do for every exam. And this time I, I didn't get the chance, but uh, however, it's an online part. Uh, so basically, they, they changed the, uh, the mode of writing exams and it became easy for me. And somehow I got near the exam, finally. But suggestion for everyone, don't procrastinate, uh, don't procrastinate anyone. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Over to Madhumita. Thank you so much, Kaushik. Okay, my last question. Who will volunteer? Anyone? Okay, we have Shambhavi. Okay, my question to you is, would you say no to your passion for your parents? That's a difficult situation. Um, it has always been that my parents have supported my passions. My passions keep changing as every day. <laughs> so, um, if my parents are against it, there must be a reason to it. However, um, if they are all against it, I will justify why it is my passion, why I want to follow that um, and try to change their no to a yes. <laughs> that would be my carpe diem for the day. <laughs> That's it from my side. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you so much, Shambhavi. Okay, uh, that's all for the table table topics today. Over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Table Topics Master and the Table Topics Speakers. For a moment, I forgot that I was the Toastmaster of the day while she was handing over the stage to me. I was like, thank you so much for that amazing Table topic session. Well, now we'll, go, we'll be going for a five-minute break. Sure, you're very happy, Toastmaster, when I can see. I'll pause the recording. We'll go for a five-minute break. If you want to network, you can. If you want to go for nature calls, the nature is calling you, you can go. Five minutes break. All right, all right, all right. On your seats, please. President, take a seat. Okay. All right, thank you so much. That was the five minute. I, I started the recording. Please have a seat. Thank you so much. Well, that was the five minute break. I hope you had networked with each other, spoke with each other and few people heard a few things. Please ignore them. All right. Now we move ahead to the third section in the meeting. That's the general evaluation session. As I said earlier in the beginning of the meeting, this is the person who will say a no to you and say that you can do this in the other way too. You can innovate yourself. So to innovate ourselves and the way we perform our roles, to help us with that, we have our general evaluator Toastmaster Vinay. Onto the stage, please. Okay. Uh, many of the people hate this session because 
they'll come to know about their uh, positives and negatives so to start with the session i would like to invite uh, speech evaluator one vinutna to give her speech give her speech evaluation sorry <laughs> once again a very good morning everyone so speaking about uh, toastmaster pranit speech what an awe uh, inspiring and nostalgic speech man it was really so great but your speech was so good on a few terms and there could be some improvements which can take your speech to next level so starting with very good points in your speech first thing your attire the your way you dressed up and your speech you gave it was so synchronizing and you know uh, it gave the very nice hint that it's going to be some professional and nice motivational kind of speech so first good point is your attire next inserting a quote in your opening insertion of quotes and nice words and phrases it's a very difficult part for one who started their uh, speech path but you have inserted in, uh, you have inserted it nicely in during the course of your development i mean when you initial stages itself it's a very good part kudos for that and the next thing as the purpose says to say about the leadership incident you have nicely explained the incident clearly and also uh, it was really so inspiring and also so nostalgic the story got connected to everyone i guess like we heard the story once or uh, twice in our childhood days or even now and then so once when you said that i agree everyone got the gist of the leadership skills and everything and moving on to last but not the least point your hand gestures and your movement you are moving to and fro in a reasonable in reasonable times and also your hand gestures were nicely visible and seen coming to the points which can make your speech a bit more better first thing is your structure see you made all the uh, you know all the cups filled you spoke about the missile man and about the incident of how the it failed and next hit how it uh, next event how it went to hit and also you said about how the leadership skills is going to help and also you included the part of bipolar these these spots have been filled but it would have been still more better if they have been connected see when you are moving from one to another make sure that there is a bit of suspense and some connection in from one to another so that we can get the entire flow in a very proper way and the next thing is uh, you have nicely spoken about the incident of the leadership skill so make it would have been much more better if you have involved your own experience or your own learning from it so that you know we can get that what you have learned and what you have uh, abstracted from that uh, particular experience last but not the least it's a conclusion your opening was a bang and it was very nice professional opening but ending would have been much more better in a much more impactful way i think these add ons would make your speech much more better and i could see really see you how you are going in your path uh, like drop by drop really makes an ocean your tiny your teeny tiny mistakes as you have been rectified you are going into a really nice path i hope that you'll consider these and also make your uh, upcoming speech as more productive and this is from my side over to general evaluator that's a wonderful evaluation vinutna look one thing about vinutna's evaluation is she covers every point and she speaks a lot about the evaluation uh, that's one thing uh, it will be very detailed i would like to add few things which you missed whenever print is oh, okay you can listen whenever whenever you are speaking you were like moving like this and like this as she covered but you you are missing the eye contact with the audience that's one thing you should come up with um sorry to say uh, your speech was very nice i should say before <laughs> also uh, the way you uh, engage your audience was very nice the body language which you uses is nice but what just one thing you should maintain eye contact with everyone that's one thing and vinutna you have improved a lot that uh, while giving the speech objectives you bought your phone but while giving the evaluation you bought a book <laughs> that's nice <laughs> and you used a word called humili humility i don't know the meaning uh, i forgot to google it so that that's a good thing and i would like to encourage you to use the word of the day and in the month of the day as our grammarian will be very happy 
on cloud nine. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, come up on to the speech, speaker two, evaluator. I would like to request Toastmaster Aditya to give his speech evaluation. Yeah, good morning once again. Here I am evaluating uh, Toastmaster Rahul, one of my closest friends ever I've had. Uh, I've been seeing him from SEM 1. And all I know about him is like, he's, he's a bit more introvert than me. I am an introvert as well. So here he is. Uh, he has given his uh, icebreaker and I congratulate him and give him an applause. So Rahul, uh, you've started your speech with a bit of less energy maybe. And if you try to boost it up, that would make your speech much more interesting and the audience to uh, start hearing you from the beginning. And there are the ups and downs which you maintain. That's so good so that the speech gets uh, much more interesting. And you had all the gestures up, down, there, here, and you maintained a good level of eye contact, sure. And you also made sure that we, uh, the audience, get attached to your speech because you've given the uh, examples of getting lost in the supermarket. Obviously, I was last in the vegetable market once uh, when I was a and I'm pretty sure most of us might have been lost at some place or the other, might have uh, uh, drowned like hounds to search our parents and my, uh, made our parents tense. And um, the gang bar <laughs> you mentioned, that was uh, pretty hilarious. And also you've uh, made the audience uh, to connect. So that every single person here sitting here now has uh, their own gang of friends. And that's what uh, will make sure that we survive through our college days. I'm, I'm sure of that. And here uh, I found nothing of the sort uh, to point out out of your speech as a negative. But you've uh, made a bit of a run through your speech. I will uh, slow down your speech so that every single audience is uh, clearly... Uh, able to cope up with your speed and that makes your speech perfect and these are the points which you need to remember for the next speech and all the best for your going path thank you uh, that's a wonderful evaluation uh, i would like to suggest you one thing uh, whenever you would like to evaluate a speaker you can use sandwich method that will be very nice it will be very easy also I would like to cover a few points which you missed. Uh, yes, the uh, first of all, whenever he started the speech, I thought the, spe the mic was not good, but I came to know that his voice was a little bit low. <laughs> uh, you covered it, right? And you used the idiom of the day, kudos to that. Uh, very well, including idiom of the day in spontaneously during giving the speech is very hard. Yes, I would like to say that uh, you tried to include humor in your speech, but a few areas it didn't work out. But the, when you said bar, uh, it, it did work out. Uh, see, uh, whenever you give a humorous speech, not humorous speech, you include humor into your speech, some kind, sometimes it won't work out. Uh, every joke which you write is perfect, but you should know uh, which kind, which set of audience you should are likely to laugh to that joke. So if you know that, you you you'll become a good humor speaker. Speaker, not like me. And uh, as he said, you you were you were, you're rushing towards your uh, toward uh, throughout the speech. But uh, there's this one point you used your voice modulation to attract people. That uh, whenever you said attitude. That, that's one kind of a situation where it looks nice. And that's a perfect icebreaker. You only sp uh, spoke about you and we got to know a lot about you. And that's it from my side. Uh, I would like to invite the speech evaluator three, Toastmaster Dinesh to give his evaluation.
Thank you, Dostmaster Vinay. How many of you felt the speech that Dostmaster Vijay Shri gave today is so powerful? As an evaluator, I'm on cloud nine. I divided my evaluation in three, three parts where you excelled it, where you may want to work on and the challenge that I'd like to give you yourself. Now, coming to the posters where you excelled it, started with that ever lovable namaste, the trademark, Vijayashree's trademark, felt so energetic in the right starting uh, introduction itself. And the second thing you did good is audience engagement. You asked few questions, two people responded. That shows you are aware of your audience and making them, uh, trying to put, uh, trying to make them engage to your speech. And the th uh, third one is, you questioned about leadership. Is CR a leadership uh, role? Is principal a leader? And you told your perspective on that. That's a good thing. And you conveyed it, conveyed it to us. And you also, the one of the speech objective is you had to talk about your one of your life incident to convey your leadership style. You did that part as well. You talked about your childhood incident where you went, uh, you ran on a campaign and what you did in the campaign and how you won in the campaign. So that's a good thing. Speech objective met. And coming to you may want to work on part. When telling about different types of leadership, I mean, it was very detailed is what I felt, but there are many types. I know you use catchy acronyms. I seen one of your evaluation where you did that. So in this pitch also, if you used any catchy acronyms, when you are defining different types of leaderships, it would have been better and the audience might have remembered every single leadership style that you mentioned. That is one, one thing that I noticed. And one more, uh, to challenge yourself, I think you need to work on your conclusions because right after the time has shown green card, you jumped into the conclusion and said, that's it I, I have regarding my leadership style. I think you need to rehearse more times and uh, improvise in the way, in the way and uh, include your content a bit more so that you will reach up to yellow card because yellow card is the uh, ideal time for a speaker for a good speech. So th these are the challenges that I, may, I noticed and the personal goal that you mentioned to give effective pauses. I felt you are halfway there, but you need to still work on it. And your speech, I have few takeaways as well. Everyone is a leader. Recognizing yourself is what differentiates between a leader and a follower. That's one takeaway I noticed. And another takeaway, sincerity and honesty is what defines a person's leadership. These are the two takeaways I have. And with the challenges that I mentioned, I think you will do good in your next speech. I think you will incorporate this as well. That's it. I have over to you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Vinay. One thing about Dinesh Avalos means like he writes some points and whatever whatever happens, he'll just turn pages, say every each each and every point, and then he'll conclude his, his evaluation. You covered many things, the pros, cons, suggestions, and uh, you also given some kind of challenges. I would like to add a few things. Uh, as the speech objective, it's so hard to tell different kinds of leaderships on stage. Like remember them, remembering them is very hard, but it would be better if you gave some kind of pause, pauses between uh, while you're saying some kind of leaderships, like one kind of leadership, other kind of leadership like that. And your accent was very good. The way you interact with people, and the way you uh, keeps eye contact and the way you uses the gestures, uh, it's very nice. Um, I, I too felt the speech was very short, so you could work on that. That's from my side. And coming to my tag team, I would like to call upon Grammar and Toastmaster Govin to give his evaluation. When will a person be happy? When he get what he wants, right? I was on cloud nine when I saw people using word of the day and idiom of the day. 
I would like to uh, thank Toastmaster Vinay, Toastmaster Aditya, Toastmaster Rahul, Toastmaster Vijayasri, Toastmaster Madhumita, and Toastmaster Dinesh for using idiom of the day. And only two people use word of the day. That is Toastmaster Seeker and Toastmaster Sambavi. I, I, I try to use word of the day um, more people from the next time. And these are the improper uh, users I found in the meeting. That is ending. That is ending of the month, which can be used as end of the month. And everyone saying to say, we can say it as everyone says. And which which you does he says. Uh, which you do he says. And in my nine years age, a uh, came told me when I was nine years old, they came for me and he scolded, he scolds and friends true, friends true of you, you spread. Uh, many of the people, we can say it as many people and sorry to, uh, sorry to say your speech is very nice. We can say it as your speech is very inspiring. And going path, we can use, we can say as for your future speeches. And these are the list quotes, thoughts, or words which I like. That is Toastmaster Pranit using humility. Earlier treatment leads to earlier cure and uh, empowerment. And Toastmaster Vijayasri using indeed, I was in two minds, and serve first, lead second. And Toastma uh, guest Jodi used don't take it to your heart and Toastmaster Vinutna use attire word and our very own uh, Carpedium Toastmaster Harsa use empowered synonym of trust, drowsy, traumatized and that's your fear. And that's it from my report over to Toastmaster Vinay. The moment you shake hands, it means you transfer energy to someone. You're just leaving me and going. <laughs> that's that's a detail evaluation, Toastmaster Govin. Toastmaster Govin. That's a detail evaluation. <laughs> uh, I've noticed many people use idiom of the day, but very few people use word of word of the day. But uh, I would like to congratulate all of them. I, I thought that the word of the day was a little complex so that uh, many people were not able to uh, use it. So it could be better if you have given a simple word. That's one thing I would like to say. And the idiom of the day uh, was very catchy so that many people used it. And uh, throughout your evaluation, it was very uh, good. I would like to say that uh, it could be better if you have given some kind of suggestions to people by reading books, which everyone gives, but it could be better if you given if we are given, and that's it from my side. Uh, over to our account of Shamavi to give to present her report. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay. Starting with uh, Toastmaster Vijayshri. No as no ums. Clean speech, beautiful, great job. Next, Toastmaster Pranit. Two, two as one um. Uh, there were repetitions of uh, phrases in your speech when we were in when we were school kids. APJ in APJ Abdul Karam. When he was in when he was entering the stage. Next, Toastmaster Rahul. One um, four like. Uh, repetition of smile on in smile on on us. Toastmaster Pratap, two souls. Toastmaster Pranita for table topics, two hours, three arms, five likes. Toast, uh, guest speaker Shikhar, two hours, two um, one hour. Repetition of I have in I have characterized myself. Toastmaster Vinay and Toastmaster Harsha, I think we can ignore the other notes. Guest speaker Jyoti, two hours, three, um, three arms, two souls, one well. Guest speaker Rashmi, five hours, five arms, three souls, 
and uh, consecutive uses of and guest speaker kaushik two hours one um one so one like and uh, use of i four times in a row i use as and ums i don't know how many <laughs> those must uh, vinuta five hours two so's one like consecutive uses of and Toastmaster Aditya, two hours, one um, one so, one like, again consecutive uses of and. Toastmaster Dinesh, one ah, uh, and uh, repeated, conveyed in conveyed it to us. I would suggest that uh, speakers replace the use pauses whenever they are about to use a crutch word and uh, speak slowly so uh, that you can plan more on what you want to say. That's it from my side. Thank you. Over to Toastmaster Vinay. That's a detailed evaluation. Uh, I just want to say one thing. Like, while you're giving your report, don't say Toastmaster Pratap. <laughs> one, uh, two arms. So it could be better Toastmaster Pratap, one, uh, two arms, like that. So, uh, while you're uh, giving your inter introduction to the uh, to account to your role, it it would have been better if you have told an example like using us and terms. Uh, the evaluation was uh, detailed, and I would like to say one thing: like whenever the accountant gives his or her evaluation, people looks for this us and terms, but uh, let me say an example. Me, myself, when I was sitting there and I was watching for my evaluation feedback from the accounter, when I got two hours, two hours, I got two hours. Don't feel like that because when you, when you speak fluently, you, you'll get those hours and terms. That's not a bad thing. And also people sometimes give some kind of pauses. That's a very good thing. And getting hours and terms is not a big crime. You can just certify it by knowing it. That's what I would like to say. And I would like to call upon the time of today's meeting to give his detailed report. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinay. Yeah, fellow Toastmasters, I'm back with my report here. So as we all know, our fellow Toastmasters carpe diem the meeting and all of us are on cloud nine. So yeah, uh, the timing report. So all our Toastmasters, we are well within time for prepared speeches and evaluations, but in table topics, Harsha and Vinay, it was an amazing table topic session, but yeah, I should keep in mind the timing also. We went overboard by 42 seconds. And Shambhavi, yeah, you were well before the green card, it was 40 seconds. So you have to finish it after the green card gets over. So yeah, that's that. Thank you. Over to Toastmaster Vinay. Uh, short report. <laughs> it could be better if you have uh, mentioned the timings took by the each and every people. And also, I've seen that you haven't uh, kept the time of uh, the evaluation for accounter and the grammarian. That's one thing. And also, uh, during the, your intro, you forget about saying the buffer of 30 seconds. So that's one thing. And I think uh, conversation, you can give more time because it takes so much of time. Okay, okay. I think you can, for conversations, you can give uh, a bit more time, like extending for one minute because it's between two people. Uh, so that one thing I would like to request you, a very good evaluation, short evaluation. Coming to the meeting, it started on time. On time. I say, like, there is a huge difference from online and offline. Just I should mention that. Don't look at me like that. I'm so scared. <laughs> During offline, the uh, amount of energy you shows towards the people was so high. Uh, I was like, okay, he came. What is he going to do? And Good morning. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is the Josh I wanted. And that's very nice. Coming to presiding officer. Presiding officer. 
you forgot about you forgot to tell out my level 1 completion as pratap was shouting and saying that he completed level 1 he forgot uh, to tell about you forgot to tell about my level 1 completion that's one thing i felt so disappointed uh coming to tmod as usual you nailed it uh i don't think that your leg was injured because while you were addressing your tmod script you're like rushing here and there but when you were walking you'll do this step <laughs> and coming to table topic master it's they are wonderful table, table topics and we felt they are somewhat easy except from shamvi's table topic uh like i like the way you explain each and every uh, role you take whenever you if other other people says if you want to say 1 2 3 4 they'll say 1 2 3 4 but you'll say 1 okay 2 3 you'll explain it in a very detailed manner that's one thing uh, which i should appreciate and okay uh, many of us use resume of the day and word of the day kudos to that and it's a wonderful meeting i'll share my voting link uh, in the group i would like to call upon tmo toastmaster harsha hope so you didn't forgot that i definitely didn't toastmaster right <laughs> Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vinay, the tag team and the speech evaluators for those detailed evaluations and for laying out the improvements that we had in the meeting. Thank you so much. A big round of applause to the GE and his team, please. So, how many of you would like to say no to a few things? Right now, there, are, there might be a few things in your life which you don't like. Pratap, you don't want to say a no? Well, how many of you hated saying no to a lot of people. That's what exactly happens with each and every one of us. When we want to say no to something, we feel bad because we feel that we're doing some sort of crime because saying no to someone and thinking that they might feel bad makes us feel bad. And sometimes a no can be empowering. When I was in my sixth grade playing a tennis tournament, I lost the tennis tournament so bad. I was beaten to the blue and my tennis coach said, you've lost the tournament. But after a while, he came back and said, I've spoken with the other coach. We can have another match for you. It's more like bribe kind of thing. So I told him, let's not do it. I don't like it. I said no to that one moment in my life, which I still feel empowered about. So I know can be traumatizing. A no can make you happy. A no can make you feel empowered. It depends on the situation. And I hope you will find out those places where you have to say no and where you don't have to say no. With that being said, I'm not buying you any time. Toastmaster Dinesh, the presiding officer, back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Harsha. That was an insightful TMODIS address that we have seen. Now, I'd like to take the feedback from guests. Others, would you like to tell your experience to us? And our gen just a quick announcement, our general evaluator shared the voting link. So I would like to request everyone to go ahead and Vote for the best of role takers and over to you, Adash. Uh, so at the beginning of the meeting, I was really tensed to come over the stage and talk. But uh, as time passed, I'm like being free and uh, like I'm really confident to talk. And also I enjoyed the meeting and it, uh, it was really like interactive. So that's it. Thank you so much, Adesh. Well, Jagadish, come on. It was so insightful. Yeah, that's it. 
at the start i was i was so stressed i have a lot of stress fear and now i want to interact with lot of people and i feel it's the best club which i want to join yeah fine thank you so much jagadish hoping to see you in the club adarsh you as well and uttejita would you like to introduce yourself and give us a feedback uh hello hello all my name is uttejita uh studying in ec branch c section uh third year so initially when i came i was late by one hour but still i was happy that i could be here i could find all you people and you know uh, get to talk to new people and uh, i was very nervous so it's like you know uh, they all have experience here and they they have spoken before and you know they they know each other but here i am who is just like walked in one hour late and not having uh, much interaction it was really good uh, i don't know ah uh, what's his name I mean, I, yeah <laughs> he was very humorous he was very good i i liked his um, hosting or whatever it it is really good nice meeting thank you happy to have you in the meeting well rashmi ma'am would you like to tell your experience to us uh yes for sure and uh, quite an experience i am I'm, i'm not sure by now you would have realized i'm a very selfish person and i am i'm always looking forward for an opportunity where i can see my students uh, using verbal classes uh, in its entirety so um, i am here for my selfish reasons to to see all of you uh, speak wherein you know how much we struggle during the classes so um, i am super proud of all of you um, barring a couple of mistakes here or there i think that's not my concern my concern is that you have uh, uh, you know you have voluntarily come to this club and you are uh, taking time out to prepare uh, either on spot or even before that and uh, interact and open up and uh, say no to your inhibitions um, to to any such thing with my which might actually pull you back from being a leader or from being a great speaker so uh, thank you so much uh, pranith and the others and kaushik you've always been uh, my personal favorite i'm sure you know that so um, keep doing the good work that you guys are doing and uh, thank you for allowing me to be a part of a whatever small part of this so um, i'm i'm super proud thank you thank you so much ma'am for those kind words i can see everyone are pumped up here ah uh, thank you and reiterating reiterating once again our general evaluator posted the voting link in the chat box so i'd like to request everyone to go ahead and vote and we have one more guest shikhar would you like to tell your experience to us um thank you thank you once again for the opportunity to speak um if you're making your professor proud i mean there's nothing better than that right um love the energy that you guys are showing in the club um yeah the first college club that i have um visited uh, virtually i do hope uh, looking at this crowd and you guys are doing a great job meeting physically i do hope sometime towards the end of september i will make a physical appearance at your club a uh, fantastic job i i think all the speakers showed such nice comfort at the stage at this early in your your career has not even started yet right it's uh, such early in your stage so fantastic guys i mean um, just just make uh, make sure of uh, making most of this opportunity there is one thing that has been <laughs> troubling me all through um when uh, toastmaster pranit gave his speech um he referred to dr apj abdul kalam as apj abdul kalam right through his speech we are using our salutation of toastmaster whenever we are referring to each and every one of us in this meeting um dr apj abdul kalam deserves and has earned that respect to be referred to as dr apj abdul kalam whenever you speak about him so please the next time that you give that speech you might repeat it and i encourage you to repeat it it's a very inspiring speech but 
I think you should refer to him as um, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, if you agree with me. That's it. Um, other, other than that, fantastic um, meeting. I'd love to visit sometime. Thank you, Shikhar. We are proud of many things and joining Toastmasters in our student life itself is one of those things. And uh, we'll take the feedback as well, our speaker. And Jyoti Sharma, would you like to share your experience with us? Yes, thank you. Uh, this is also my first interaction with uh, such a young and bright future of India. So it was great to see you as uh, Shikhar uh, rightly pointed out your career is not started yet, but you are putting so much effort to be good in professional life. And that was great. So in my advice that I have given that don't take it, take it to your heart uh, uh, is like you have to uh, be very confident in that. So one more advice or just a feedback that I would like to share is uh, I have heard that many of you were using the word gesture as a gesture, which is a wrong pronunciation. And I would request grammarian also to check the words pronunciation also. So this is gesture, your body language. So that is a correct. And sometimes you say yellow, it's not, it's yellow. And that will, will help you because uh, when you will be working, you'll be traveling overseas. The pr correct pronunciation of words is very important. So I would request uh, uh, your grammarian also and all of you just note, note out the correct pronunciation also. And the next thing, uh, by seeing your enthusiasm uh, for your improvement, I would just recommend one book because you said that everybody recommends. So this is a book, it's called Atomic Habits and it's very good, nice and books. If you can re start reading it uh, right now, maybe in next two or three years, you'll be a, a great leader, great speaker and you can get whatever you want in your life. That's it, thank you. Thank you, Joyesti Sharma. Toastmaster Pratap have that book. I'm sure he can lend it to anyone who asks for it. Just a suggestion. And we have the results with us. Thank you. Best of big four. Can I take any guests? It's a tough call, but it's our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Harsha. The best of tag team. <laughs> you are correct. It is our accountant, Toastmaster Shambhavi. Best of speech evaluators. <laughs> well, it's a little close call, but it is me, Toastmaster Dinesh. Best of speakers. Once again, it's a tough call, but it is um, the third speaker, Toastmaster Vijay Shri. And the last but not the least, the impromptu kings, best of table, to table topic speakers. It's the duo themselves. It's Toastmaster Vinay and Toastmaster Asha. Thanks for that improvisation. Okay, that's it with the best of role takers and the guest feedback that we have. And this is the houseful meeting room that I've seen. With that enthusiasm and the same audience in the next meeting, I'd like to declare the meeting number 176 themed. Nope, closed.
Thank you. Now the session is open for networking. And I'd like to hand over to our area director, Toastmaster Harsha, for moments of truth. Over to you, Harsha. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinesh. Oh, well, if the guests uh, want to leave the meeting, they can. If they want to stay and see uh, what moments of truth is going to be, you can definitely stay and look at how moments of truth will happen. Shikhar, you want to say something? No, I, I'm just waiting back. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Bye, Shikhar. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Kaushik, bro, you're staying. All right. Thank you so yeah. much, guys. Have fun. Take care. Thank you so much for attending. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much. See you. Bye bye. Hello, Durga. Hi, Gopika. Hi. You can turn on your videos on the on, all the online people. No. No. Okay. Set up my laptop. Change. Just give me two minutes. We'll we're calling a few more people. We'll take a bit of time. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock, seven.